Hey guys, for this video, I want to show you two DeWalt 20 volt cordless drills to hopefully help you decide which one is the right drill for you. So on the left, we have the DeWalt DCD771B. We add a B to it when it's a bare tool and no battery or chargers are included. So that is the B on the end on that one. And here we have the DCD708B. So again, a bare tool in both of these instances. So if we take a look at them, there are a lot of similarities and a couple of differences to note. First off, if we look at the height of them, they are almost identical. However, the DCD708 is much more compact. If I give you kind of a different angle here you can see just how much of a difference that is and depending on your main use for the tool that could be a big deal because the first time you get into a situation where the drill doesn't fit in a compact space you will get a whole new appreciation for a compact tool now if you plan on doing most of your work on a bench like this the compact size of the drill it just doesn't matter to you because you're not in a situation where it makes much of a difference now as far as a couple of similarities we can touch on the from here down they're almost identical the grips and the trigger and the mechanism for switching from forward to reverse that's all the same they both can have a belt clip on either side of the drill on this one here, the LED light is at the bottom, illuminating upwards. And on this guy, it is up underneath right here. I prefer this style. I think it's a little bit better. We have a variable speed trigger, which looks to be the exact same design on both of them. They both have an adjustable clutch. So you have drill mode here. And then we have all our clutch torque settings. And on this guy, we have the same thing. So physically, the collar looks a little bit different, but how it functions is the same on both. They are both half inch drills, which is what I prefer. Your other option would be a 3 8 inch drill. It's smaller. A half inch drill can do everything a 3 8 drill can do. A 3 8 drill cannot do everything a half inch drill can do. Additionally, we both have a speed select. We have a speed selector on both of those. We can put it in one or two for both drills. If we look at the back, we can see the RPM ratings on each drill. This one goes up to 1650. And the other one goes up to 1800. So this one will actually spin a little faster. Probably not a noticeable difference, but there is a difference there. Now one main difference, and maybe the major difference in the two, this guy is part of the Atomic series for DeWalt. It's a much newer drill, but it uses a brushless motor. This is an older tool that has a motor with brushes in it. So if you're familiar with electric motors or have used tools for a while, if you use this drill enough, you could get to a point where you have to take it apart and you have to replace the brushes in the motor. It's a, Think of it like brake pads. Use it enough, they wear out, you got to replace them. The brushless does not. Brushless is a newer technology. Uh, pretty much everything about a brushless motor is better than a brushed motor. In this specific instance, this one is actually a little bit faster, but generally speaking, everything's going to brushless. It's newer. Now, one thing is, because this is a newer tool, it's not as battle-tested, if you will, as this guy. This thing's probably been out for over 10 years, 12 years maybe. So a lot of people have had their hands on it. Both DIYers and professional tradesmen have used this drill for years and years. And they're still making it, so that's a good sign. It means they've done something right with this drill. Now, the Atomic one over here doesn't have that same track record. Maybe it'll be just as fine, but we don't know yet. So a little faster. This one's a little more compact. The brushless motor is no doubt an upgrade over a motor with brushes in it. But those would be the two main differences, the size and the brushless motor, that really you should be considering when debating on these two tools. Again, you can see just how much longer the nose is on this guy. So there it is, guys. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.